On this video, we're going to take a look at the CVSENT and interview analysis report. An interesting report, this one, particularly for the consultants to take a look at activity. So under performance, we have the CVSENT and interview analysis here, where you can then break that down further by different filters. So if we click on the report, there's so many ways you can view this. It really depends on what you're trying to build. So first of all, you're going to put in your dates in here. It does tell you what it's looking for. So it's looking for any spec CV sent, any CV sent, spec interviews arranged, and standard interviews arranged in the dates entered. You can then filter that down by either the owner of the progress record. So that really means the person that, who was logged in and ran the activity, or the owner of the job record. Then of course you can look at owning consultant team, office or region. You can look at the company where the CV is sent or the interview is booked for. So you can narrow down to a particular client and their activity done there. You can look at all activity or you can narrow down to just one specific type. If you've got targets in the system, you can tell the system that you want to look at a particular target period. So you can see the targets in there on graphs. And then you've got group by client or consultant. And then you can sort by candidate, client, or job title. So I am going to take out that weekly target just for a second. I'm going to group by consultant and sort by client and look at a PDF. But you can choose RTF or Excel if you wish. Then when we confirm, we'll be able to see our reports. So let's open that up a little bit wider and take a look. So it gives you the title, the date run, and any filters that you've put in on that report. It will show you the graph for all teams, and it gives you the color code down here. So we can see CV sent have been nine in that period, and we can see client interview range six. And not a lot of specking going on at the moment, which is fair enough. Not all companies need to do that. It will then show you the team and then the consultants within that team and narrow down to their personal stats. So you can see Alan has sent two CVs, Michelle has sent seven, and she's arranged all the client interviews as well. And if we scroll down, because I've sorted it then by consultant, um, or grouped, sorry, by consultant, you can see Alan is the first in the list, got a CV sent, we can see job title, which client, contact, the candidate that CV sent was done for, his initials, it was when it was sent, and now what is the current interview stage? Sorry, what is the current stage that job is at now and that candidate? So what's going on since the CV was sent? Has there been any progression? So what's great is we can see CVs have been sent on the 16th and then now at interview range stage. So if we scroll down, we can then see Michelle's activity. So her CV sent, all the data linked to that the current stage so one person's placed since then one's under offer interviews arranged so we can see interview date we can see has it been attended and has feedback been put in so nothing's been done on that side in the system and we can see here all of those six interviews were first interviews and it would give you that breakdown and then we can see the reports break down here at the bottom. So brilliant report, as you can see. And so many filter options. If you want to see things like the targets, you can have weekly targets that are in there or monthly. And then you can look at certain consultants' targets compared to how they've done in graphs in there. And then by doing that, you'd have to filter by consultant. Um, loads of different options. But as you can see, really good report for you to be able to see how you're doing and what's going on with your job since you did that activity.